height advantage from Yandoli. Eight inch height advantage. Five eight to five foot. Let's see if she fights like a taller woman. Chrissy, Chrissy uses her, her, she's got really good south. Shorter, obviously the reach advantage is not there. She needs to get inside. It might look like an MMA bout. Ooh. But it is kickboxing. I'm trying to, in my head, figure out what the difference is. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of differences I guess with, the the, with the little gloves. You know, you shelling up with the big gloves protects you a little bit more. You don't have that luxury with the small gloves. Also, if, if there's knockdowns, there's no there's no ground game. Ooh. Both trade in right hands. I like it. Chrissy's checking a lot of kicks. I like that's a that's a veteran move. You see her checking kicks. 30 seconds to go here in the opening frame. Both fighters reserved early. Yandoli able to impose that height advantage. Bruce has got to close the distance somehow. The hair's long. Some Rapunzel vibes there. Ooh, axe kick. Chrissy Yandoli throwing axe kicks. That's. That's the confidence of veteran has. Oh, what a big knockdown at the very end of round one. Mackenzie had a round highlight two. reel knockout Boss. at the last event. And of course, remember his, his he, uh, Green Klein was a big one of his as well. Yeah, they had a, a long-standing feud in this cage. That, we could do a whole documentary on that, on that feud. Round two here between Chrissy and Dali. The red, white, and blue Anastasia Bruce in the all black. A good opening round from Yandali, who has an eight inch height advantage and she's making it work here. Chrissy's just walking her down now. Here comes Bruce with a few shots of her own. Looks like Anastasia's having a hard time managing that, that reach advantage that Chrissy has. And that's, it's big, that's eight inches, that's... Yeah, it's, it's tough to overcome. She's gotta, she's gotta beat Chrissy to the jab to get her, to get herself inside. It's, it's like you see in boxing, Canelo Alvarez, shorter fighter, as he goes up to 175, 168. He's fighting guys, you know, five, six inches taller than him, but he's able to get in with footwork. It seems like Bruce is kind of staying on the outside and trying to land from there, which is, it's tough. She's slipping well, though. I, I like what I'm seeing out of her. She's slipping the ones and twos and throwing counters off the slips. And she she is working away inside. And when she gets inside, she's landing. It's just that Chrissy is able to mitigate it. Once she lands, Chrissy's going to be able to get back out of, out of range. Big rear uppercut. Just came up short from Chrissy. You could hear Anastasia's corner yelling, jab, jab. They want her to jab her way in. Ooh, and Chrissy heard her with that body kick. Body kick and a jab as well. Bruce is tough. But look how far away she is. Man, that's, that's been the story of the fight. Chrissy's been able to keep her at that distance. And Chrissy's oh. starting to open up. Beautiful head kick. The legs are long. Think about Yandali too. She doesn't give anything away with her eyes. Doesn't give anything away with her face. It's the same game, game face on there. Not telegraphing anything. Just composed. Yeah, and you and see fluid. she's she's letting her kicks go a lot this round. She's been setting those kicks up behind her jab, and they're they're landing. You've seen Anastasia visibly wince from a couple of them. Ten seconds. Dan, how, how do you have this one so far through two? I got Yan Dolly. I mean, Bruce is tough, as you can see here. She's trying to get inside, but I mean, you gotta find a way Round to get three. inside. Easier yes. said than done. You might have to go for broke if you really want to win this fight and eat some few kicks, eat a few punches, but you gotta close the distance somehow for Bruce. And usually, you gotta jab your way in if you don't have. You know, that ring IQ to get him and footwork. Gotta go for broke. I agree. 
I think he'd make it on the right corner, man, Dan. Seen a lot of fights in my day. Here comes Bruce, getting inside, letting those hands fly. But Yandali pushes her back literally with a front kick. And she lands a combination, Bruce. Bruce is finding her moment She's going here. for broke. She heard me. Great combination, went to the body and went upstairs on Yandali. Corner is imploring her to throw your hands. And Dolly might be a little fatigued here in the third round. Ooh. And a right hand from Bruce. Chrissy landed two pretty good leg kicks there. And it kind of froze Anastasia. Ooh, nice right hand there. once again. Bruce is finding a home for some of these punches. Things are getting interesting here. Two minutes to go in the third and final round. Yeah, she's, she's fighting like a fighter who knows she's down and needs to go for it. You'd like to see that. You tell your fighter in a corner, you know, go for it. Go for it. You got nothing to lose. Anastasia Bruce is doing that. Oh, hands on the hips after that break. Anastasia might be tired. I think both ladies are tired, but this is what makes them champions is that grit. 90 seconds. Bruce got to go for broke as she lands yeah, another combination. She's, ha she's having a round. She's landing a lot of combinations, and you can see some of the damage starting to show on Chrissy. What Looks is, like she's got a little swelling under that right eye. What has Chrissy done wrong in this round that uh, has allowed Bruce to get creep back in a little bit? I don't know that she's done anything wrong. Well, what's she's, allowing Bruce to do this? I think Bruce is just accepting the consequences. She's jabbing a little bit more, and she's just coming in, letting him fly. And Chrissy's doing the right things. When, when Anastasia gets in, Chrissy's able to reset and get back to the distance, but Bruce is just being the aggressor. Under a minute, round three. It seems like Anastasia's just kind of not respecting the punches of Yandali that have kept her out yeah. at distance from the first two rounds. Lead right found the mark from Bruce. A nice jab there from Yandali to keep her honest, but listen, Bruce is landing leather. Really, really good three minutes from Anastasia Bruce. There's a front kick from Yandali. Keep her off, followed by a jab. We're going down to the scorecards here in our co-main event. Chrissy Yandali, did she do enough in those first two rounds? Because you gotta give round three to Anastasia Bruce. Yeah, you know, you gotta give Anastasia all the credit. She went out there. Chrissy! Bazaar! Yeah!